because that's exactly what the true self of you is doing all the time. It's saying how cute, how adorable. This almighty being is pretending that she's separate and that she's lost and that she's confused and that she's obsessed with all these things that don't really matter. But we know who she truly is. And we're holding to it because that's all we can do because we are oneness. There's no separation in oneness. I'm beginning to meditate and go inward to contemplate the motivations for my actions. And I'm finding it very difficult to be with myself or look deeply at myself without judgment. Any tips to help me become more comfortable with self introspection? First thing is you're noticing that when you go inside for meditation, that there's this committee of voices that are there just to jump on it, hop on it and tell you you're not enough. So wonderful, wonderful if you notice that that's the human condition. So the tip that I want to give you is that you allow yourself to recognize that up until now, you were under the foolish notion that you're only human. And that as being human, you have this voice of separation that continues to keep telling you you're only human and therefore you can be attacked and you can attack and that's all righteous. And not only can you be attacked, you, this place is not safe or secure. So as soon as you begin to recognize that that is not the truth of who you are, that when you go into meditation, you might often find yourself in a place that if you just sit it out, the ego is going to tell you, again, you're just sitting. It's not about performing. So it's not about being the best meditator on earth or being able to go off into a bliss state immediately. It's about being able to sit with yourself to be able to notice the committee of voices that arise immediately that might tell you, oh, it's too hot or, oh, I'm hungry or, oh, my, my, I, I can't do this because I think too much. Oh, I, I, I think this is wrong. Just listen to them and allow them and enjoy them and embrace them because that's exactly what the true self of you is doing all the time. It's saying how cute, how adorable. This almighty being is pretending that she's separate and that she's lost and that she's confused and that she's obsessed with all these things that don't really matter. But we know who she truly is. And we're holding to it because that's all we can do because we are oneness. There's no separation in oneness. So let yourself just be, go easy on yourself. This beginning stage of undoing, and that includes people who are, you know, first time meditators or beginning meditators or people who are just finally realizing they need to get away from themselves and they choose meditation or a deep relaxation to do it. I highly recommend to first just begin to follow your breath, get interested in your own capacity to breathe. And this is a great connection. You came in with your first breath, you'll leave with your last. So every time you connect with the breath, you're connecting to source more tangibly and substantially. It's as simple as doing something you're already doing. Just focus on that breath. It's not something that has a voice to it. It has a rhythm and a peacefulness and a graciousness that animates you every day of your life. It adores you, it supports you, it's there for you. Just let yourself connect with that. And if you start to focus on the breath, just breathing big, one deep, full inhale, one deep, full exhale, and stay with that all the way through the inhale and the exhale, you'll start to see that there's a part of you that's not thinking. There's that part of you that's being. And when it observes you, it observes you with absolute love and, and adoration. It sees you as perfect. It sees you as perfect pretending you're not and thinks it's a big joke. So fun, fun, fun to connect with that place of self-embrace and to be more and more aware of it and, and connected to it. 